Hi everyone, this is Les with Team PyTorch. Uh, today we're going to go over um, FSTP and its available sharding strategies. So to get started, as usual, I've got a notebook here with some code excerpts to sort of show you everything. Uh, this one will be short and sweet, uh, but I think very informative in terms of optimizing your training with FSTP because it'll give you a number of different options. Um, so first thing, we'll verify the version. I'm running with the July 11th uh, nightlies and getting into the specifics of FSTP and the sharding strategies. So there's actually three available sharding strategies. There's a fourth on the way, which we'll cover just briefly. Uh, but what do these do? These control the trade-off uh, between memory versus communication overhead. So effectively, it's the sharding or redundancy <coughs> um, of the model parameters, the optimizer states, and the gradients. Those are the three things uh, that you will have available to shard. Uh, you may have heard of zero uh, 0203, et cetera, and that's it's re representing the model parameters, the optimizer states, and the gradient. So you have three different things you can shard. Um, so to show you how that works in FSTP, it's very easy. It's a single parameter input, uh, and uh, let me just show you to, that to you right now. <clears throat> so up here, we'll do our imports. We've got our usual import FSTP. The big thing we want to bring in here is the actual class sharding strategy, which is basically an enum, uh, and that will let you control uh, the different trade-offs uh, for the different sharding strategies. So this is the breakout of the current three supported items. Um, sharding strategy full shard is the default. So if you don't pass anything in, this is what you're going to do. This is FSTP uh, as you think of it generically, which is support for the largest uh, models. Um, in this case, uh, with full shard, you are sharding the model parameters, the optimizer states, and of course the gradients. So they're all sharded. <laughs> and as a result, you have the, also the most amount of communication but you have the best uh, availability of memory because there, there's basically minimal redundancy in between GPUs. Um, the in-between mode is what we'll call 02, but specifically in the unum, it's shard grad op, standing for the fact that you're going to shard uh, the gradients and the optimizers. The difference is the model parameters will be held on to longer. So after the forward pass, you would not, do not free uh, the model parameters, but rather they stay around and they're only freed after the backwards pass. So you will have an increase in total memory, uh, but you'll have a reduction in communication overhead because you don't need to do that second all gather on the backwards pass. Um, <clears throat> and finally, the um, no shard option is basically DDP. And so this is one of the really nice things with the sharding strategy. With one, literally changing one enum uh, or one parameter here that you're gonna, I'll show you how to pass that in. You can go from a DDP to a hybrid, uh, which is uh, basically zero two, all the way up to full shard. And depending on your specific server situation, your model size, and so forth, you can really customize the trade off to optimize your training speed with FSTP. And again, it's literally just one line of, of code change. Um, so finally, let's conclude the different options with the future support that's coming. <clears throat> and that is what's called hybrid shard. And so what that will do is you'll be doing FSTP full shard within a node. So, so imagine you have multiple nodes here, a cluster situation, um, but between the nodes, it will be DDP. So in other words, if you have a model, uh, each node will have their full copy of a model. So it's redundant there, um, but within the node, the GPUs or whatever that are inside that, uh, the model will be sharded with FSTP. So it's basically taking advantage of the fact that you have very high um, speed communication within a node generally and your weakest link in terms of communication generally between nodes so this will optimize that and that will be a very uh, exciting addition um, that's coming out uh, later this year <clears throat> so um, how do we actually set up and change and modify our uh, sharding strategy so we have our uh, fstp init and that's it's just going to be a param here so literally a sharding strategy and you pass in that enum class set to whatever you want so in this case i've got it to shard grad op uh, which is the zero two, and of course you could also pass in full shard, uh, or actually you don't even need to pass in; you just not pass in anything, and that would be full shard uh, or shard grad op uh, standing for zero two mode. So um, that's how all there is to, to doing it. So again, it's just literally uh, one parameter change, and you can flip between all these different um, sharding strategies, which will give you uh, different optimizations in terms of memory, uh, and that will afford or help maximize the model size and trade off with. Uh, the network and communication overhead. So what I did do to give you a little more information um, as, as an example of this trade-off is took a AWS A10 G5 48X large, so that's eight GPUs, um, A10, so it's an Ampere architecture, uh, and running bfloat 16, I said, okay, let's freeze this server. What size models can we fit with different sharding strategies? And so that's what this graph is showing you here. Uh, so DDP, uh, which is again, 
the entire model is being replicated on every GPU. So no surprise, that's actually going to afford you the least amount of uh, total model size <laughs> that you can fit. Uh, but what you end up here is uh, you can see that we could fit 750 million uh, model using uh, the DDP mode. We went into uh, zero two, so we're going to shard out um, the gradient and the optimizer, um, and then keep some of the model parameters around for longer. Uh, that put us up to two billion, and then finally the full shard, which is maximum, uh, or, or I should say minimal uh, redundancy in terms of model uh, parameters, that gets us all the way up to two and a half billion. Um, here's a few more details on that. So we've got our model size, again, on the SATA A10. Uh, you can see the batch size ended up being very comparable, uh, 15, 16, and 18. Uh, the GPU uh, utilization was basically right around 93% for all models, so put it on very even uh, comparison. And then the actual relative increase. So with TDP being a base of one, we had zero two, got us up to effectively 2.67 times larger model. And of course, uh, FSDP full shard, uh, the default, uh, brings us up to the largest model size, which is three times, uh, 3.33 over the DDP model. DDP model, excuse me. So um, hope that helps. Uh, again, so a best practice for using this is, is depending on your model size, your server resources, and of course your network speed, uh, you can basically uh, <clears throat> work with these different sharding strategies to maximize your training throughput. So hope that helps.